So you're probably thinking, another money advice video? But stick around because today, we're diving into 10 game-changing money secrets that are going to shift how you think about money and how you can start making moves now to build a solid financial future. 1. Make your own luck. Ever noticed how some people seem to get lucky all the time? Here's the thing. Luck often comes to those who take consistent action. The more you put yourself out there, the better your chances of catching a break. For instance, think about networking events. You might go to 10 and only one of them leads to a job offer or a business opportunity. But without attending those other nine, you'd never get that chance. That's what creating your own luck is all about putting in the effort consistently so that when opportunity knocks, you're ready to answer. Take Sarah, for example. She was stuck in a dead-end job after college, but she spent her evenings learning to code online. She started building small projects and networking with others in tech. Eventually, she landed a role as a developer at a startup. People might say she got lucky, but the truth is, she made her own luck through consistent effort. 2. Don't live below your means, expand them. You've probably heard the advice to live below your means, but here's a twist. Instead of cutting out your daily coffee or skipping that concert, why not focus on expanding your means instead? For example, let's say you're passionate about fitness. Instead of just working out, consider becoming a certified personal trainer on the side. This can bring in extra income, allowing you to afford the things you love without feeling guilty. Robert Kiyosaki, author of Rich Dad, Poor Dad, challenges the idea of extreme frugality. Instead of cutting costs to the bone, he suggests figuring out how to make more money. This doesn't mean going on a crazy spending spree, but rather focusing on ways to increase your income. So next time you're tempted to cut back, ask yourself, how can I afford this? It's a mindset shift that can lead to big changes. 3. Understand money rules before you play the game. Let's get real money can seem complicated, especially when financial jargon gets thrown around. But understanding the basics is crucial if you want to win at the money game. Think of it like learning a new sport. If you jumped into a game without knowing the rules, you'd probably lose. The same goes for money. Take some time to learn the basics, like how interest works, what inflation means, and how investments grow over time. A friend of mine, Alex, used to keep all his savings in a regular bank account, earning practically nothing. After learning about high-yield savings accounts and basic investing, he moved his money and now earns significantly more interest just by understanding how money works. Remember, the financial world might seem complex, but at its core, it's about making smart choices with what you have. Once you understand the rules, you can start making moves that benefit you, not just the banks or financial advisors. Think big, but start small. Thinking big is all about setting ambitious goals, but you don't have to start with huge actions. Begin small and build up. Consider this, if you want to start your own business, you don't need to quit your job tomorrow. Instead, start a side hustle. Maybe you're good at graphic design. Start freelancing on weekends. As your client base grows, you might find yourself in a position to take that side hustle full time. A guy named Mark did exactly that. He had a stable but unfulfilling job in marketing. On the side, he started designing websites for small businesses. Over a couple of years, he built up enough clients to quit his job and run his own web design agency. It didn't happen overnight, but his big thinking and small actions paid off. What's the worst that can happen? This simple question can be a game changer when making financial decisions. Let's say you're considering investing in the stock market for the first time. The thought of losing money might freak you out, but ask yourself, what's the worst that can happen? If you're investing wisely, the worst case might be that your investments don't perform well and you lose some money. But if you're smart about it, maybe only investing money you can afford to lose, the downside isn't catastrophic. And the potential upside? Significant. A friend of mine, Emma, wanted to start a small online store. She worried about the risks but asked herself, what's the worst that can happen? She realized that the worst case was losing a few hundred dollars on inventory. Not ideal but not devastating. So she went for it. The store didn't make her a millionaire but it brought in steady extra income. Sometimes taking that calculated risk can be the best decision you ever make. Treat money like a game. If you think about money like a game, it becomes less intimidating and more about strategy. Games have rules, strategies, and players. The better you understand these, the better you can play. For instance, think of budgeting as leveling up in a video game. Every time you save money or make a smart investment, you're advancing to the next level. You don't have to be an expert overnight, but understanding that money is a game can make the learning process more engaging. Consider how people use apps like Robinhood or Acorns. 
These apps gamify investing, making it easier and more fun to get started. By treating money as a game, you start making moves that can lead to winning financially, whether that's paying off debt, saving for a trip, or investing in your future. Don't fall for the sunk cost fallacy. Imagine you've been in a relationship for years, but it's no longer making you happy. You think about all the time and effort you've invested, and it makes you hesitate to leave. That's the sunk cost fallacy, the idea that you should stick with something just because you've already invested in it. This doesn't just apply to relationships, it can happen with a job, a business, or even a hobby. If something isn't serving you anymore, don't let past investments dictate your future. For example, Jane spent years in a corporate job she hated because she felt tied to the time she'd already put in. But one day, she asked herself, if I knew what I know now, would I have taken this job? The answer was no. So she took the leap, left the job, and started a career in something she was passionate about, event planning. The move made her happier and more successful in the long run. Get rich young, not just later. When you're in your 20s or 30s, you probably don't want to wait until you're 65 to enjoy your money. That's where the idea of getting rich young comes in. Consider the approach taken by people like MJ DeMarco, author of The Millionaire Fastlane. He talks about creating wealth while you're still young, so you can actually enjoy it. This could mean starting a business, investing in real estate, or even developing a product that fills a need. Take Chris, who started an e-commerce store selling custom t-shirts in college. He put in the work, and within a few years he was making six figures. Chris didn't wait 40 years to start living. He built wealth young by creating something valuable early on. Balance spending, saving, and investing. A common money mistake is focusing too much on one thing, like saving every penny but not investing any of it, or spending without a plan. The key is balance. Let's say you make $4,000 a month. Instead of just saving $500, think about how you can split that between savings and investments. Maybe you put $250 in a high-yield savings account and $250 into stocks or a retirement fund. This way, you're not just saving for emergencies, you're also growing your wealth. A friend of mine, Lisa, used to save everything in a low-interest account. But after learning more about investing, she started putting part of her savings into a mix of index funds and bonds. Now, she's seeing her money grow instead of just sitting in the bank losing value to inflation. Success isn't just about winning, it's about not losing. The best way to win with money is to avoid losing it. Successful people don't always make the biggest gains, but they're experts at minimizing losses. Think of investing like this. Instead of going all in on a risky stock, diversify your portfolio. This way, even if one investment doesn't pan out, you're not losing everything. It's about playing smart and staying in the game long enough to see success. Take Warren Buffett, for example. He's one of the world's richest people, not because he took crazy risks, but because he made consistent, smart investments over time. He avoids the big losses, which allows him to keep growing his wealth steadily. Thanks for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe for more great content.